Folks, the gas stove ban we're told was not going to happen. Well, it's now being debated in Congress. Democrats are trying to ban certain types of gas stoves and actually other household appliances. Republicans, meanwhile, are pushing two bills to try to stop these bans from happening. In the Republican corner, we have the Gas Stove Protection and Freedom Act and the Save Our Gas Stoves Act. They argue the concerns of the gas stove ban runs right alongside the concerns of federal government overreach. And after all, they can come for our gas stoves, our dishwashers, our washing machines, and a bunch of other stuff. Well, what else can they come for? Here's Representative Tom Cole, chairman of the House Rules Committee, explaining this yesterday. H.R. 1640 will prevent the Department of Energy from finalizing a proposed regulation. It will effectively ban half of the existing gas stoves on the market and will increase the price of the few options that would remain. And H.R. 1615 uh, will prohibit the Consumer Product Safety Commission from regulating gas stoves as a banned hazardous product or enforcing a product safety standard that bans gas stoves or substantially increases their price. Uh, while Republicans are trying to stop the restrictions from taking place, Democrats are doing their best to push the restrictions through. Representative Jer Jared Moskowitz, a Democrat from Florida, pushed two amendments to the Republican legislation in what looked like jokes. First, he called for an honorary gas stove statute in Statutory Hall. Watch. My second amendment uh, would give gas stoves, I think, the honor that they deserve. Uh, you know, a stainless steel, six-burner, double oven in Statutory Hall. Uh, you know, we have, uh, we have statues there that are made of marble and bronze, but we don't have anything of stainless steel, and so I think this could be uh, the first one. That's not all. Representative Moskowitz also suggested changing the name of the bills to make Make Appliances Great Again, or Stoves Over, the Gun, Over Gun Violence Act. Watch this. I propose creating a position in the U.S. Department of Energy for the sole purpose of fighting the war on gas stoves. This amendment would create this position in the department, the Supreme Allied Gas Commander, a position that young boys and girls can one day aspire to. Now switching over to H.R. 1615, this amendment honors, uh, uh, honors this amendment by also changing its name to Make Appliances Great Again. Many of you already have the hats and shirts and flags and boats, so I figured we would just make it easy uh, so that you could show uh, your support uh, for this amendment. And if you don't like that slogan, because that, you know, something of four years ago, uh, we can, my last amendment, uh, uh, my second amendment on that one changes the name uh, to uh, Sto Stoves Over Gun Violence Act. Basically, his argument is that it's a non-issue. Moskowitz later told CBS News, I'm not hearing about this issue back home. No one wants to ban gas stoves. Neither does the Biden administration. This is totally ridiculous. But, folks, this is unfortunately really misleading. The Biden administration is, in fact, pushing for bans on many types of gas stoves. It appears the Democrat pushback, the narratives they're using, they're using plays on words. They're suggesting there is no full ban on gas stoves, which there's not. There is no proposed complete full ban on gas stoves. But there is a push for a partial ban, and that's where the Republican concern is. In fact, the government's proposal, the one they have right now from the Biden administration, would result in a ban of roughly half the gas stoves currently on the market. Again, you could argue that they don't want to ban gas stoves. They're not banning all of them. But banning half the gas stoves, that is still a ban. And it doesn't stop at gas stoves either. The Biden administration policy in question is from the Department of Energy. It's the new so-called Energy Conservation Program, Energy Conservation Standards for Consumer Conventional Cooking Products. And in February, the DOE published proposed rules for stoves to align with them with energy conservation standards. That's the so-called gas stove ban. This would mean new rules on annual energy consumption, not just for gas stoves, but for electric stoves as well, interestingly. And that's just a small piece of it. Proposed efficiency standards, as they call them, well... They would also put regulations on washing machines, refrigerators, and many, many other appliances. 
The government is saying the restrictions on clothes washers and refrigerators will actually save you money in the long run. While, of course, critics say it would result in less effective products that can't hold as much as they need, meaning you have to run them multiple times anyways. But Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm said in a release this. She said, with today's proposal, we're building on a decades-long effort with industry, in, with industry to ensure tomorrow's appliances work more efficiently and save Americans money. And since taking office, President Joe Biden's administration, notably, has taken over 100 actions to enforce new efficiency standards on appliances and on products. This includes, for example, the ban on incandescent light bulbs, the restrictions on air conditioners and home furnaces, restrictions on water heaters, and many, many, many others, and probably many more restrictions still in the works. Of course, you also wouldn't be wrong to think it's all Republican make-believe because, well, the establishment media has been downplaying all of this from the very get-go. Back in January, New York Times was actually running a similar narrative to what the Democrats are now using. An earlier headline on this story read this. No, Biden is not trying to ban gas stoves. But they changed that headline to ban gas stoves? Just the idea gets some in Washington boiling. And if you read the story, well, it includes an interview with a White House spokesman making it sound like the whole claim is just a big conspiracy theory. The White House spokesman tells the New York Times, quote, the president does not support banning gas stoves, and the Consumer Product Safety Commission, which is independent, is not banning gas stoves. But it looks like that's just plain old not true. <laughs> Since that article came out, other information has also emerged. In fact, an internal memo from October of 2022 show that the government was already looking to ban gas stoves last year. The Consumer Product Safety Commission wrote in the memo, quote, the need for gas stove regulations has reached a boiling point and it claimed that gas stoves were harmful to children and stated, quote, emerging evidence is sufficient to conclude that gas stoves in homes emit toxic gases that cause illnesses and that low, lower cost, safer alternatives are available. Wow, sounds like an incentive to ban gas stoves to me. Stay tuned after the break, we'll be going into how the agenda against gas stoves, well, it's a bit bigger. The program ties into the United Nations and the World Economic Forum and the various policies they have. Welcome back. The push to ban gas stoves, it's tied to the Department of Energy's many new proposed restrictions on household appliances. It also turned out that Biden's energy secretary, Jennifer Granholm, met privately with a group that funded the study that started the whole debate on gas stoves. The group is the Rocky Mountain Institute, or RMI. The study in question was called this population attributable fraction of gas stoves in childhood asthma in the United States. It was released in December of 2022 and tried drawing a connection between childhood asthma and having gas stoves in a home. That report has since been called out for using some really flawed studies and flawed science. It appears as well that government regulations pushing for gas stove bans are stronger on the energy use argument and now less on the health impact element. But Flawed or not, the report sparked the national debate that we're now in, you know, still. The report was published by the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, the University of Sydney, and RMI. But the RMI connection is what started turning some heads, and guess why? Well, aside from being the Biden DOE secretary, you know, them allegedly meeting with the group, it also turns out the group has ties to the World Economic Forum. And because of this connection, the group is tied in with a much broader agenda on changing how we live everyday life, basically. RMI pushes for carbon-free buildings. Maybe that's why they want these gas bans, with the argument that buildings are contributing to global warming. It claimed back in November of 2020 this, buildings are responsible for more than 35% of the carbon states, sorry, the United States total carbon emissions 
the gas burned in these buildings is a major contributor to climate change and a threat to public health. And while the electricity system is getting cleaner, the trend for fossil fuels in buildings is currently moving in the wrong direction. Our gas distribution system continues to expand with a new gas customer added roughly every minute in the United States. Now, are you getting that? It doesn't sound like the move against gas stoves is really just about gas stoves or even about health. It's about climate change and the climate agenda. And they were getting money as well, notably from the Bezos Earth Fund to help fund this agenda. That's an organization from the Amazon CEO, Jeff Bezos, the guy who, you know, bought Washington Post. Here's Bezos himself speaking at the United Nations Climate Change Conference in 2021 about his Bezos Earth Fund. Watch. This is part of the Bezos Earth Fund's $10 billion commitment to fight climate change, enhance nature, and advance environmental justice and economic opportunity. Now, back to RMI. As I mentioned briefly, it's also tied with the World Economic Forum. The WEF is notably also partnered with the United Nations on its Agenda 2030 program for what they call the Sustainable Development Goals. Its page on the World Economic Forum website states that RMI is, quote, focused on accelerating the transition to a clean, prosperous, and secure low carbon energy future. And most importantly, the WEF notes what a key agenda of RMI is. Guess what? It's tied in with the WEF program for creating a net zero carbon future for cities. The official page on that program says it brings together businesses from 10, secure, 10 sectors with city, regional, and national government leaders to accelerate urban transitions to a net zero future. And part of this is to repurpose older buildings and to change government policies and business models to reduce carbon emissions. So where do the gas stoves come in? Well. It doesn't seem to be just about gas stoves. It's about energy use and gas emissions overall. In fact, it seems very much in line with the government's many policies to restrict a long list of household appliances. As the World Economic Forum notes on its net zero carbon future for cities uh, program page, quote, buildings can play a key role in combating climate change. It includes a long list of cities that are already on board with that agenda. That includes, among many, Manchester in the United Kingdom, Shanghai in China, and again, many, many others. Then there's a related WEF program called this, Building Value Framework. According to its official report, it focuses on accelerating the decarbonization of buildings. And the goal of this program focused on buildings is to eliminate carbon emissions. But none of this should see, really seem too far-fetched for those of you in the US. Remember that in the United States, Representative Ocasio-Cortez has pushed an almost identical program under her Green New Deal. Part of that included a massive plan to change schools, farms, and many other things, including your own home. As Fast Company reported back in 2019, quote, Existing buildings hoover up about 40% of the energy consumed in the U.S. and emit about 29% of greenhouse gases. The Green New Deal calls for retrofitting all of them. Every last skyscraper, McDonald's, and suburban ranch home for energy efficiency within the next 10 years. That's every building. And while the Green New, Deal te Green New Deal technically never got off the ground, the agendas behind it did. Even back in 2019, in fact, mayors in 19 American cities had already pledged to begin constructing cities to meet the net zero standards. It seems the gas stoves, in other words, are just a small step towards achieving all of this. Folks, stay tuned after the break. We'll be speaking with Peter Navarro. He's former White House trade advisor. We'll be talking about what's happening in China right now.